KPRC TV, Channel 2, Houston's 24 hour news source. Now, Channel 2 News Nightcast with Bill Baeza, Doug Johnson, Craig Roberts, and the Channel 2 News Team. KPRC TV, Channel 2, Houston's 24 hour news source. Now, Channel 2 News at 5. With Bill Baeza, Jan Carson, Roland Galvan, Craig Roberts, and the Channel 2 News Team. This is Channel 2, Houston's 24-hour news channel. Now, live from the Astrodome, Channel 2 News. Coverage of the Republican National Convention, plus all the day's news. From the studios of WTWO, this is TV2 Eyewitness News with Johnny Palmer, Mike Everett, Jesse Walker Weather, and Dennis Campbell Sports. Studios of WTWO, your 24 hour news source. This is TV2 Eyewitness News First Report. From the studios of WTWO, your 24-hour news source, this is TV2 Eyewitness News with Glenn Augustine, Christine Hudson, Don Osika Weather, and Jason Pinsky Sports. You're watching KJAC Television, Port Arthur, Beaumont, Orange. For all of Southeast Texas, this is News 4, The Late Report with Donna Rush and Mark Clegg, Fred Rixey Weather, and Brian May with Sports. NBC for Southern Colorado, KOAA TV, channels 5 and 30. This is Eyewitness News. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Lisa Leiden. Rob is on vacation. Next on Eyewitness News, a local police officer speaks out on a tense standoff in Waco, Texas. Are police down south handling the situation correctly? We'll hear what one officer has to say. And police in Phoenix, Oregon say one man has been arrested. They say he forged checks worth more than $100,000. Good evening. It's Tuesday night. I'm John Mercer, and this is the 630 Report. WECT News Center at noon. Now, the Black Hills Best. Dan Schillinger. Tyler Watson. Meteorologist Bob Day. And sports with Jack Cardle. This is KEVN Action News. Now, the Black Hills Best. Dan Schillinger. Tyler Watson. Meteorologist Bob Day. And sports with Jack Cardle. This is KEVN Action News. Now, the Black Hills Best. Dan Schillinger. Greg Schieferstein. Meteorologist Bob Day. And sports with Jack Cardle. This is KEVN Action News. You're watching KRBC TV, the place to be. Big Country News at 10. This is Big Country News at 5 with Downing Bowles. Weather with Rex Andrew. And cover story with Bernadette Hamilton. WTBA, Tupelo, Columbus. Now, live. Terry Smith, Kathy Nash, Dick Rice, and Will Colmeyer. This is WTBA News at 6. WBOI TV 12 Clarksburg Fairmont. This is West Virginia's award winning News 12 at 11. News 12, winner of 11 West Virginia Associated Press News Awards, including Outstanding News Operation.
weekend edition of News 12. Everything is being prepared. And now, News Center 12 Live at 11 with Mishka Marshall, Vance McBride, and Dave Sachs. From WHO-TV in Des Moines, where the news comes first 24 hours a day. And now, Jim Strickland, Lori Groves, and Ed Wilson with your first forecast. This is Live at 5. This is WICD Champaign. Stay tuned now for the Channel 15 News. Good evening, I'm Deborah Lenz. A judge has set two million dollars. You're watching Emmy Award winning Kern Golden Empire Television. Now with 17 First News at 5, here's Blake Chenault, Katie Price, and Warren Flax Sports. 17 First News at 5. And now WHIZ TV reports the latest news and information from around our area the complete weather outlook for southeastern Ohio, and an up-to-the-minute sports picture for this region and the world. WHIZ-TV is your information leader. Good evening. It was day two of President Bush's Spirit of America whistle-stop train tour today. The President and Mrs. Bush spent the day visiting cities across the state of Michigan. The Bushes attended church this morning in Livonia, then headed on to their next stop in Wixom. From the train platform, Bush told the crowd that Bill Clinton's proposed tax programs are a serious threat to America. You're watching WLEX-TV Lexington. This is Channel 18 News. Today's news with Bonnie Krasick and Gary Johnson. Now, 18 News, live at 530. WLEX-TV Lexington. This is Channel 18 News. Mindy Shannon and Jim Bailey with today's news. Brian Collins weather. And on sports, Alan Cutler. Now, 18 News, live at 6. Good evening. There is still no sign of a Lexington businesswoman who has been missing now since Friday. This is a Z21 News Update with Chris Olson. Good evening. Coming up tonight, a Ben man is arrested for a string of burglaries and thefts. The plug gets pulled on a proposed power transmission line in East Bend. And we'll have a special report on how local families could be in danger from old Deschutes County rules. Join us for Z21 News at 11. The look of Central Oregon. Z21 News. WFMJ TV Youngstown. This is 21 Action New at 11. You're watching KNDO Channel 23 Yakima. And this is New Center 23 with Julie Hogan, Ross Parrott Sports, and Monty Webb Weather. And now, New Center 23. Good evening, everyone. I'm Julie Hogan. Lower Valley teachers scrambled to get their... We're watching KNDO Channel 23. And this is News 23 Late Edition. A complete wrap-up of the day's events in Yakima and around the valley. Good evening, I'm Ross Peretz. Julie Hogan has the night off. Thanksgiving weekend, typically one of the most busy travel times of the year. You're watching KNDO Channel 23 Yakima. And this is KNDO News 23 Late Edition. This 28 news break is brought to you by your Carolina Chevy Geo dealers. News 31 with Diana Jones and Marcus Shola with sports. Live from the WNNE studios, it's News 31, The Night Report. This is WNNE-TV, Hartford, Hanover. 
News 31, serving Vermont and New Hampshire from the Connecticut River Valley. Live from the WNNE studios, it's News 31. This is 33 News at Noon with Linda Jackson, Greg Schaupweather, and Dick Floria, Editor's Desk. Hi, everybody. Hope your Monday's off to a good start. I said that this morning, and I still mean... This is 33 News at 6 with Jim Payne, Melissa Long, John Miller Weather, and Ken Horman Sports. Good evening. Melissa will join us in just a couple of minutes. This is WKJG-TV, Channel 33, Fort Wayne. Now, your 24-hour local news continues. Live, this is 33 News. This is American Family Broadcasting, WAFF Channel 48, Huntsville Decatur Shows. Now, with today's top stories, Cliff Hill and meteorologist James Zahara. This is WAFF 48 News. An elementary school scheduled for closing. This is American Family Broadcasting, WAFF Channel 48, Huntsville Decatur Shows. Now, with today's top stories... Tom Kenimer, Holly Sherwood, meteorologist Bob Barron, and Mark Thornhill with sports. This is WAFF 48 News. Proration hits Alabama A&M University again today. This time in the form of salary cuts for remaining in 